welcome to the Basics of Spectroscopy video series. Let's talk about moment of inertia. The moment of inertia can be thought of as the angular analog of mass. It is the property that determines the amount of torque needed for a desired angular acceleration, and the property that determines the angular momentum of a given angular velocity. We can calculate the moment of inertia about an axis by multiplying particle mass and the square of its perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation, and then summing over all particles. For molecular systems, we defined three orthogonal inertial axes, A, B, and C, such that C has the largest moment of inertia and A the smallest. This then allows us to define molecular rotational energy level structure in terms of three inertial rotational constants, A, B, and C. Let's calculate the moment of inertia and rotational constant for hydrogen cyanide. Since HCN is a linear molecule, the IB and IC moments of inertia are equal, and IA is zero. In our video on center of mass, we saw how to define the origin in our molecular-based coordinate system. IC and IB will be associated with axes that pass through the center of mass and which are perpendicular to the bond axis. Knowing the masses of the atoms and their perpendicular distances from the rotational axis allows us to calculate the inertia of 11.28466 atomic mass units angstrom squared. This is the value for both IB and IC. By convention, we label the associated rotational constant B and calculate it by dividing the constant Cu by the moment of inertia. This treatment allows us to predict the rotational energy level structure and therefore spectrum of HCN. Typically though, we would do the reverse, starting with the spectrum of HCN and then working backwards through our method to determine molecular geometry. I hope that you have found this short video on moment of inertia useful. See you next time.